Hi everyone, welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Clone Trooper Captain. So this is going to be a really, really quick video because I've already done a review of the Clone Trooper and also the Clone Trooper Sergeant, which is the green one, which I'll show you later on in this video. Uh, so being as it's the same mold, uh, you know, it's just going to be really, really quick. If you're wondering why I'm holding the box, it's because he's not actually sitting in the packaging properly. He's like right at the front, as you can see, so he's not actually in the kind of molding there. So if I let go, it is front heavy and will fall over. Before we uh, take a look at the figure itself, uh, a couple of Black Series reviews that are coming very soon are Darth Maul and Anakin Skywalker so uh, stay tuned for those I'm really really excited to get both of these figures out of the packaging so uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up and take a closer look if you want to check out these guys go ahead and uh, stay tuned for the channel and subscribe they will be coming very soon and here is the clone trooper captain out of the packaging and this figure is really really cool obviously it is the one in the middle in red on the right there we have the standard clone trooper and over there on the left we have the uh, sergeant so one thing that I do want to uh, kind of compare with these guys is the fact that the uh, sergeant actually kind of has a kind of yellowish to him compared to the standard clone troopers so if I bring those in close and get a bit of uh, better focus right there you can tell that they are very very different there is kind of a kind of yellowy kind of hue to this guy whereas this one is really really nice and pure white so if we compare these guys right now, as you can see, it is the pure white just like the other ones. So whether it's because of the green that makes this one a little bit different, I'm not too sure. As you can see, the deco is exactly the same. It still has the uh, four dots. They're just simply in a different color. So everywhere that's green is now red. As you can see on the back here, we had the little red light that's on the back of their helmets, I guess, so that when they're firing, they know that there's one of their troops there, so they need to shoot past it. Uh, obviously, that's just red anyway, so I'm guessing that would still be there, but yeah. There's no mold differences or anything. We still have this kind of, you know, this is molded white and this is painted white, so you do have... It's not yellowy, uh, although it might look similar to that. It's just because it's painted over black. So it's just not as good coverage, or at least it's just not pure white like this is. And you get that on the uh, the pad right there on the underside. Uh, but apart from that, very, very cool. So the only other difference from this guy to this guy is the fact that on this gun, we have the, uh, the grey paint there and the grey paint on uh, that little bit right there. Whereas on the normal clone trooper, they are just moulded in black. Going over the articulation of this guy real quick, uh, you just have the head on a ball joint right here, so it looks left and right, looks up and down, and then the uh, shoulders, they come out this far, obviously hindered because of the uh, shoulder pad right there, but they go all the way around. We have a rotation right here at the upper part of the arm, double jointed uh, elbow, which again, only goes 90 degrees, it is a bit hindered, uh, and then we have the rotation at the wrists, and then they also go in and out. This one's just a normal gripping hand, whereas this one actually has the trigger finger. Uh, the uh, abs right here, it's on a diaphragm joint, so you have a ratcheted left and right, and then you also have a crunch, and then it can go side to side as well. The uh, thighs here, they have rotate, the legs can go forward, back and out to the side, double jointed knees which aren't hindered as badly as the elbows and then the feet we have really good ankle pivot as well as really good up and down so as you can see you can get really really nice poses out of these guys you know you can even get them crouching down like I did with this guy I really really do love this mold just like uh, I love the uh, the stormtrooper mold as well however the stormtrooper one you can actually get a little bit more articulation uh, out of that just due to how the armor uh, looks on that figure so uh, all of these clone troopers they do come with the longer rifle and also the uh, the shorter blaster as well they're just absolutely fantastic, and I really do love them. So the, the only complaint I have about these figures is just the fact that they don't mold this in white. I don't really see why they don't. They really, really should. Um, like, or make it separate to this back piece so that, that could still be black in there, and then just have a separate white piece that sits on top, like glued on or something. 
but yeah, I definitely, definitely do think that you should go ahead and pick this up if you are into the uh, the Clone Wars or the clones or whatever, and you are collecting your Black Series army of six-inch troopers. I definitely think that the uh, the variations are must-haves to really break up your display. See, I'd, I'd really love a, a Rex as well. That would be really, really cool. Uh, but what I'd really love is the uh, the Phase Two. Uh, just normal troopers they're gonna look really really amazing so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like sorry if I've sounded a bit strange in this video I am feeling a bit under the weather right now my throat is killing me uh, but I really really still wanted to get some videos up uh, if you want to check out the uh, uh, other two clone trooper reviews I will put them in the description they will probably be a little bit longer than this one um, and a little bit more in depth as to the actual molding and detail that we get in these figures uh, so this is just a quick look just so that you can see uh, this color one really and just so that I could show you that they are a bit different in the actual color of the white there which is nice that this is nice and pure white so I do prefer this guy over this guy um, if you want to check out more pictures of anything else from my collection, including upcoming reviews, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's homerino123. The link is in the description below. And if you want to check out my uh, Twitter and Twitch, the links to those will also be in the description below too. For more Star Wars Black Series reviews, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.